Hey, 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 hey! Get out of the truck! The look of the city was so was so different. Widespread crime across the city was sort of out of control. 1981 in New York was the most violent year on record. A time of intense lawlessness. That's the backdrop within which Abel has to maneuver and try and keep his family together. It's very disrespectful. It is an analysis of the American dream, the dark side of that and the beauteous side of that. It's just something that I find fascinating and always have. No man would it ever stand in his way. J.C. Chander's great talent is to create and maintain tension. The performances that he had brought out of actors and his shooting style, his way of telling stories, he's wildly open-minded. My feeling is, if you're gonna take three years of your life and go do this, you better feel passionately about the story it is you're telling. I had wanted to very specifically kind of shake things up for me visually with this film. When he got Bradford Young onto it, it just made it even more exciting and it just elevated the whole thing. He's such a brilliant light alchemist. I envisioned this very truthful, sort of raw story photographically to show elegance and the refined quality of decay. It's evocative of great gangster films. <clears throat> Stellar performances, incredible directing, incredible production design, incredible costume. There's going to be something underneath that folks will really appreciate.